Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Hi. This is Becky. So, does everybody remember yesterday whenever uh, Ms. Becky and I took the classroom into the gym and we were the beasts and then we were touching things that were taller than us and smaller than us? You guys remember that? Great. Because we're going to do something similar to that today, except you're going to need to get a partner. So you're going to need either your parent, your grandparent, your aunt, uncle, whoever's helping you with this lesson, you're going to need their assistance. Uh, so you're going to need another person to help you. Uh, and you can even really do this twice, but you can even help you with that person because they're going to help you do it. So some supplies that you're going to need to complete this activity. You're going to need a wall. So we have our wall. And we're going to discuss how tall are you? So some art supplies you're going to need out of your art box are you're going to need some yarn, you're going to need scissors, you're going to need some construction paper to put your name on it. So you can draw a smiley face on it and then cut it out and you know, stick it on the wall. Miss um, Becky made us some beautiful flowers with our names on, so you can be really creative. You know, make it however you want. And just please remember, because you are using scissors, to remember your scissor safety that we've talked about twice this week. So please, please, please be very cautious with your scissors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the yarn as a tape measure. Does anybody know what a tape measure is? Right. So a tape measure measures how big something is um, in inches. So we're not going to be measuring specific inches, but we're going to be using our yarn as if it were a tape measure. We're going to stretch it out, and we're going to see how tall we are, and we're going to compare uh, the two strings. That's how we're going to, That's why we said about getting it right now. So Ms. Becky and I are going to be partners. Ms. Becky is going to measure me. We're going to tape it up on our wall, and then we're going to, I'm going to measure her, and we're going to see who's taller or for the same. So. What you're going to do first, you're going to take your name and you're going to stick it here, wherever you're going to put hang up your yarn. All right, so now we're going to start making <laughs> And have fun. This is fun. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's see how tall Mr. Panda is. Right there. Hello. Okay, I'm going to take it on the flower. Can I see how tall I am? I know you guys can't see the bottom, the actual like four footing, but this is the whole way down. So now we're going to switch roles. I'm going to take the scissors very cautiously for Miss Becky, and I'm going to hold them like this. And then I'm going to measure Miss Becky. Ready? Ready. So if we go to the top of her head, clear to the bottom of the floor. Now we're going to cut off. siblings or older siblings and just compare. Um, you can even turn this into like a tally chart um, if you really wanted to with everybody's height to really get some math in there. Um, yeah, surprisingly, Miss Becky and I are the same. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Um, so now 
we're going to move on. We're going to leave this all up um, for your viewing pleasure. And we're going to read a story now. It's called Wembley Word. Does everybody remember what part of the book this is called? That's right, it's the front. Does anybody remember what this part of the book is called? Correct, it is the back. This is the tricky part. Does anybody remember what this is called? Yes, this is the spine. So like I said, this story is called What Will Be Worried by Kevin Henry. Oh, one more question actually. Is this book, I know it's kind of hard to see uh, because we're not in person, uh, but do you guys think that this book is a hardback book or a soft book? What do you think? Is this a hardcover book or a soft book? Yes, perfect, friends. This is a soft book. Wonderful. What will we worry about everything? Big things, little things, and even the things in between. When will he worry in the morning? When will he worry at night? She even worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much work. Have you guys ever worried about anything? I know I have. Ms. Becky, have you? Oh, yeah, I have too. At home, Wembley worried about the tree in her front yard and the crack in the loop of her wall and the noise the radiator made. At the playground, Wembley worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the side and the bars on the jump table. And always, she worried about her dog. Do any of you have a favorite stuffed animal? Yeah? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wembley worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wembley was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wembley worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. That sounds pretty silly, huh? On her birthday, Wembley worried that no one would come to her party. See, her mother said there was nothing to worry about. Look at all these people that came to her party. They all looked so excited. They all had gifts and party hats and balloons. Have any of you ever been to a birthday party? I have. Have you, Miss Becky? Yes, I have. Birthday parties are fun. But then Wembley worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wembley worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, her father said, there's nothing to worry about. Do you guys see any butterflies in the picture? I only see Wembley as a butterfly. But then, Wembley worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wembley had a new worry. School. Wembley worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wembley had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else wins a dog? What if the teacher is me? What if the group smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. Don't wobbly worry. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wembley's parents talked to her teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wembley looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wembley, there is someone I think you should meet. 
Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a dog. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved and Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than and sometimes even less. Before Wembley knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Beecham as the students walked out the door. Wembley turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. And look, everybody's happy when she got home. They were so happy because she stopped worrying. How perfect is that? That's such a really good story with a really good lesson. Uh, we have one more activity for you, friends. So if you can get into your bag of stuff that we got you, everyone should have gotten some um, white computer paper. And we want you to start making a journal. And just draw something that you did during the day. And then you can share it with us since we are able to be here with you. And you can let us know what you're doing in the day. So each day, just take a piece of your paper and Draw something about what you're doing for the day. Because we would love to see what you're doing. And we'll be back for another activity soon. So we'll see you soon. Lots of fun. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>